Hey guys, my name is Bob Lue and welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the beautiful Schlieffen, you know, one of my one of my favorites. And I'm quickly gonna go over my equipment and my setup. You see it here, the surface detection secondary build, and then I run the Eagle camo, of course, because it is also gives surface surface detection and buffs your secondaries. And then instead of the Shear team, I'm on the Franz von Hipper team. I think DPM and damage is way more fun than being tanky. But I do see why Shear could be powerful. In a situation like this, I would definitely want Hipper though. So let's move on to the game and see how it goes. Alright guys, so here we are. And uh, as you can see, these are some really good players. At least if you are on EU, you know some of them. There's some people on the enemy team with an 80% win rate. But on our team, we are also doing quite well so this is going to be an interesting game now in a game like this when you're playing a Schlieffen for example a battle cruiser you need to be very careful in the beginning we are aware that they only have one DD so like I talked about in the beginning I am going to do some recon and scout out their team and this Shimakaze needs to die before I can actually push anywhere so that is our main priority and we're going to take a spot right here behind this island I like to call this the the battleship island because in the beginning of a game they will all sit here and it's a very good position because you can't get really get torped by any of the DDs in the uh, in the middle of the right side here for us on the hourglass and you're kind of protected by battleship shells now I'm lucky that I have a Worcester we're playing with Ken here and Dr. Green so I am uh, doing Doing, I'm quite confident in my team at least. And we spot the Shimakaze here. So I always take shots at Shimas and we're on even undetected here. So, well, there we go. Now we're, now we're detected. But I think that our, that's the planes at least. So it's going to be quite, you know, chill here in the beginning. And we spot a Wooster popping out. And that's one of the good reasons for sitting here. You can actually hit these cruisers and battleships that try to pull up behind their island. Now look at that, we get some solid hits on the Wooster, and our Wooster defended me quite well um, from the planes. So that's also a very, very important thing. When you're playing against a, you know, what you know to be a capable CV player, or just in a ship that doesn't have AA, if you have a Wooster or a Holland or something like that, maybe not a Holland, they'll be kind of hard to stick to in a BB, but a Wooster sticking by your side is very, very helpful, trust me. So... Like I said, you gotta be patient in the beginning. Take how taking a push or you know committing to a push is also a lot about, I guess, opportunity and luck. It's not every game where you can do it, but now we see here the reason why Schlieffen, Schlieffen is just so powerful. We can reach that shimmer with our secondaries, and I have three of these. I know I'm not gonna use all three, so I am just gonna you know rain hell on this Shimakaze. I want him gone. Luckily, my CV is helping, so thank you, Dr. Green. I, I appreciate that. But now we shift our focus to a broadside thunderer, so... We're, we're just still taking opportunities and pot shots, softening up our targets, and making sure we don't take too much return fire. Because we don't want to get hurt. We want more, you know, we want HP for the end game. That is a very, very big priority for pushing ships like the Shriek, and you need to conserve HP for late game. And now we see the Shimmer pushing out here. Our team has been doing a good job of spotting him and, you know, keeping him up occupied. So now we can just focus him. And I'm going to instantly turn away, you know, try to gain some distance here. And the Shimakaze could be firing torps, but I'm thinking that they most likely won't reach my CV. They could probably reach me. So I'm just going to keep sailing away. Now there's dive bombers coming in and I'm just hoping he's gone. Unfortunately, he does survive, and we're still forced to stay right here in our base. Now, at this point, the game is still even, and you can see that nothing has really happened yet. But I take one last shot at this Shimmer, and then I decide, Alright, screw this. I'm going to sail behind my CV here, making sure I don't block him. Reconceal, and then I'm going to push in on our right side, because if you noticed, the Shimakaze actually went to the other side of the map. So now I know I have time to push since I'm running a sec not secondary well I am running a secondary build of course. I am also running a detection build. I you know I actually have a pretty good surface detection as you see. So uh, sorry Mr. CV I'm just going to 
come right behind you and uh, and and do a U-turn here. We need to re-engage because we're too far back. We can't help our team. The way we're situated right now, we have two BBs up there on the left. They are bowing and they're probably, you know, just tanking and doing damage, which is nice. So they're, they're focusing something and the enemy team is focusing them. And then we have my Wooster and a DD on our right side. So it's a perfect time right now since the Shimakaze will probably go down. Yeah, there he goes. Thanks to the Colombo. We can push and we're going to go full throttle, no stopping towards the enemy team. This is our chance. And why can we do this? Well, first of all, Shimakaze is dead. Second, we know there's no enemies on the right and left side. We know we have pretty much the whole enemy team in their base. We have the Thunderer, we have the CV, we have the Wooster, Colombo, pretty much everybody's there. Now, we spot somebody who is a priority target for us as soon as we get to the position or lo the, the, lo the location of our, you know, pretty much ambush. We are spotted, but I don't think the team is expecting what's going to happen. Who is that? That is the CV, the Hakuryu. And we will try our best to lob over, but unfortunately it doesn't happen. But... The team is the enemy team is now realizing what's what's gonna happen, and we are al almost already in our range of our secondaries. You can see we're hitting the Wooster, and the Thunderer and the Colombo will try to answer me. But look who pops up right there. That's that's the CV. So of course we're gonna shoot at him, and it doesn't it doesn't take much from a Sleafen because of the firepower. So the Hakuryu goes down quick, and now our team is gonna be in the lead just a little bit. There he goes. Now the CV is down, and we only have, well, a Wooster, a Thunderer, and a Colombo to deal with. It's gonna be fine. We're in the street. And who cares, right? No, we have to be careful now because we have gotten the priority target, and there's still four ships, at least three, looking at us. So, to minimize the damage, and I'm not sure my torpedoes are even gonna hit the Thunderer over there, but. To make sure I don't die for this, I'm going to be, go behind this island and make it harder for at least the Colombo and make it impossible for the Thunderer to shoot me. And we can focus on Wooster here. Now, it's still close. It's We have the lead since we killed their CV, but it's a very close game. And I'm counting on my Wooster helping me and, of course, my CV also helping me finish off Mr. Thunderer over there. Luckily, my teammates Ken and Dr. Green take out the Thunderer. And I take out the Wooster, and there's eight seconds left. We won the game in the last minute, and it was a very close game. Thanks to our push, thanks to the Wooster being able to be such a, out on such a wide flank, picking up a crush, crossfire, and you know just making the the enemy's team, the enemy team's life in general, really really sad. So a very cool push in my opinion, and I just felt like uploading this. So this is the end of the video, and I want to thank you for watching. I guess you could consider this a, an educational video from Bob. It's a short one, but it was a perfect example of a very well execution push. So thank you again so much for watching, and my name is Bob Lee, signing out.